back in May, Greg from My Little Mule had done a thousand subscriber giveaway. Now, I was fortunate enough to be one of the winners, and I um, won a set of Shah's digital calipers. These are actually very, very nice. So, metric imperial, obviously. A very nice set of very nice set of calipers so thank you very very much Greg really appreciate that um, I know you're a bit concerned about they went lost in oh they got lost in the mail there for a few months but they turned up today actually Greg also included his card and he's also got a um, a store my little mule store you can go and buy some merchandise um, now as part of the Shah's giveaway, um, they included some magnets as well. And um, he also included a Randy Richards sticker, so we all know who Randy Richards is. So Greg does a lot of um, machine restoration, rebuilds machines. So he's working on a milling machine at the moment and doing a bloody good job. He's certainly going through it like a bloody bag of lax sets. He's... He's gone, he staved right into it. So he's, on, he's well on the way to getting it finished, so he's doing a mighty job. So go and give Greg a visit. And Greg, thank you very much for your generosity here, mate. I truly appreciate it. I know it costs a lot to send it from the States to Australia. I yeah, truly appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Another sticker that's come in is from F&A Wright Engineering. A relatively small channel, uh, about 300 odd subscribers, 310 I think. Go and check him out. He'd made a, a really cool quick change tool post for a shaper. Uh, you can go and check him out. He'd done a really nice job. Okay, another sticker that came in was Bear from Bear's Rod Shop. Bear unfortunately lost his wife for 50 years. Sammy passed away a couple of months ago from cancer. She put up a massive fight and she fought it hard. She was definitely a fighter. So please head over and give Bear some support. And... Um, we're all thinking of you, mate. Thanks very much, Bear, for the handwritten note you also included in the letter. I uh, truly appreciate it, and I'll get your sticker up on my board, mate. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. I appreciate you sending your stickers in. Okay, so what we got here is the link arm that links the stick of the excavator to the to the finger of the grab um, so one end goes on the stick the other end goes on the end of the well, one side of the grab keeps it rigid and then the other side's control with the hitch and the tilt of the, the bucket ram so as you can see it's just just bodgy as all hell. So this pin here is the one that goes in the um, in the grab, which is not too bad a nick. I can reuse it. Um, six hundred between centers. It's not going to matter if it turns out to be six ten, six fifteen, whatever between centers. What my plan is to cut them off, and then use a boring head to put an arc in it like an arch in the each end make a like a, a bush eye it's about 65 mil long both of them and weld them in the end square to the arm that'll make it half decent and you do that on both ends obviously and then on the actual stick I'm going to cut them out off the stick and remake new ones there so um, first of all, I want to make up the two bushes first, the two weld on bushes. So over to the lathe and I'll start building these. Just going to square the end off and um, clean up the outside.
Got to try and get a half nice finish on the outside. I'll change over to that TNGG insert. They are um, air pisses. Love them. They're a bloody good insert. I like them a lot. Difference in the finish is incredible, isn't it? From that WNMG to the TNGG insert. Really, really good. Set up a bore and bar and bore it out to fraction over 22 millimetres. It's a little bit of play in that pin though, it's just a bit too snug I reckon. But I'm, I'm happy with that, it wants to be a bit of a sloppy fit, which that is. Uh, break these edges. And um, part it off. Just got to share for these ends. that one there's its sister so we've got the two bushes made pretty happy with them and I can work work on the end of that um, bit of tubing now cut them off and bore them out put a scallop in the end for these to fit in and get welded into Nearly far enough. Got a weld in there just nice. Leaves a good, yeah, a good edge there to weld to. Around the top. I tried a bit of time lapse video there, but how good it worked out, I don't know. That boring head actually worked a lot better than what I thought on these edges. I was expecting to get quite a bit of deflection, but anyway, we had a win. So they're both scalloped out, these can be welded in, 
I've just got to make sure that they are square to the bar itself. Um, boring head went really well. Very, very surprised how the boring head went. Boring head went. Um, done a good job. So, and I think it's going to end up about 10 mil shorter than what it originally was, which is nothing. Anyway, I'm going to get these welded in, and then we can. Um, I'm going to make one more pin for these. I can use the existing pin, just make one more. And then we can get on to cutting the um, ears off the, the stick and then making up some new ones. So I've got the, the ends tacked on now. Um, I'm going to stick them up. I just tacked them on with the, tig, uh, with the MIG. Get them all in the place and then I'll, I'm just going to stick them. Yeah, just stick weld them together. Make sure they're nice and strong. a little fettling with the grinder it's not going to fall off in a hurry still hot too just quietly Ordinary that finish, I'm going to change cutters. Struggle with the finish, grab a fly cutter, turns out like gold. going to put through this hole and end up being around 870 odd thou in diameter. Set the boring head up now and we'll run a bore through it.
that's the bore done, pin fits, a bit of wriggle room which is what I wanted. Okay so what I've done off camera is I've machined up a pin that I've fallen off. It's a pretty good fit. There and there, so when I go to weld these onto the stick, I can align them so I know, yeah, I know they're not going to be up to shit. I don't know what to do with these corners, but I'll just round them off with the grinder once they're on there. It's not going to be a, I don't want to be a big masterpiece, but yeah, it wants to have a calf decent. And obviously put a little bit of, probably find a big washer and jam down in between there on each side. Just a thin washer, should I say. Just give it a bit of gap. Right, uh, so I've got to cut this off now. I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, just use your angle grinder and just cut that off, grind it all up. I have put a witness mark down here. Bad camera work. Put a witness mark down here so I know where the centre is. And I've got a line back up with. So with the original pin, it's going to have a bit of play so they can help line it up. I do have a couple of washers, copper washers in just to pack these out. But I'm going to tack a piece of crap across here so these don't pull in and then weld it out. Um, Scrape all them dilberries off there now. Make it a bit more presentable. And we're right to go. Okay, last bit of this job is to make a pin. Replicate this. So I've got a piece of 4140 chucked up. Turn it down, jam a hole in it with a yeah, big can of sink. Tape at the end, part it off. This job is complete. Well, not jockey me, I didn't press record. All I've been doing is roughing this down to make this pin. Um, I want to say I've got 31 and a half to go. Like, depth of cut to go. I uh, just changed over to a TNGG insert because I like them. Take the last cut, bevel this end, do the clean up on this end, and then um, part it off. Down the size, could have put a chamfer on this end now. Cut it off now.
got to cross drill that now for the pin and um, call it a day. Here's all she wrote. It's not too bad. Okay, as you can see, I've stuck a bit of undercoat on these bits. There's our pin. Well, that mission's done. I'm going to give him a ring now and he can come and pick it up. It's, um, it's been a quite, a quite a big job, to be honest. They've got all the shims at their place to shim all these. So they've got to be shimmed and um, go back on the digger. And he can get back playing again. Anyway, I hope he's enjoyed that. It's been a good job. Um, it's been actually quite enjoyable working until the tolerances and um, I'm just glad it's done now. I can move on to the next job. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you later.